yeah, it, it just, he just felt very reserved during the whole process. Yeah. I thought he just didn't like me. So <laughs> <laughs> you were obviously on Colton season of the show. Colton has yeah. a new show coming out this Friday. I may have seen an episode or two. Um, you have. I have. Yes. Did you watch the trailer? Are you planning to tune in to, to coming out Colton? That's so funny because actually uh, one of my friends called me the other day and they're like, have you seen Colton's trailer? When it asked you a question about that, I was like, what? <laughs> what trailer? It kind of um, just came out, I, out of nowhere and then it's dropping yeah. on Friday. So very under wraps kind of thing. The quick turnaround. I had heard rumors about it uh, way back when, when he originally was on Good Morning America and talking about like his story and stuff. And there was rumors that there was a Netflix special coming. And then those rumors kind of died down. And then all of a sudden, here it is. It's coming out Friday. So I did watch the trailer. Mm -hmm. And I don't really know what it's going to be. I'm kind of interested to see. So I may watch just for that purpose alone, just to get, just to see what happens. But um, I'm sure there will be a lot of talk around this documentary. Um, How were the two episodes that you watched? Is it... Um it's wholesome is it (laughs) it's it's interesting i kind of feel in my opinion without giving anything away i the tone was kind of confusing to me because there is some definitely moments of you feel for him and like some of the stuff about football and his upbringing and faith and everything he goes into like it's it's hard obviously not to like feel feel bad about all the the how he grew up and how he felt like it's just suppressed the sexuality and some of the mental health stuff but then you know Gus Kenworthy is like kind of very silly and so he makes it light but then like mm-hmm. his relationship with his dad is very serious and then the stuff about yeah. Cassie comes up naturally and it, he can't really say much but it, it always comes kind of full circle to that and I can only imagine she's not thrilled that her name is yeah. going to be dragged into it again so the whole thing was the tone was just kind of confusing to me and felt a little rushed because like he comes out to his parents on camera at least that's how yeah. it's implied so it's like he started filming this before he even told his closest allies that are family and friends like so the whole thing was a little the tone was just kind of confusing to me but there yeah were moments of I'm sure this could help someone but then it's like oh Cassie darkness you know if that makes any sense yeah it's like it's very layered like you really hope with something like this because he has such a large platform and people really know who he is and are following his story you'd hope that whatever happens from this you hope that something good at least comes from him inspiring someone who's coming from a similar background Mm -hmm. or feels the same as him but with there's all these other layers to it's kind of i hope that message is not diluted in all the other things i don't know um so i i I would hope just at the end of the day that something good comes from it but there is like all the cassie stuff and that situation that happened with them and they don't really address it that much in in public in the public but and i think they had an agreement that they weren't going to do that because i remember yeah. cassie going on the greatest seasons ever and did an interview and i think this is before they broke up and all the other stuff came out and she like kind of mentioned their relationship or maybe they're breaking up or whatever and he got really mad about that and they were kind of fighting publicly publicly yeah um and then So he didn't want his name mentioned, but now like her name has to get mentioned in this documentary that I'm, I don't know if she would have signed off on this or not. Like I would hope that he would say something to her about it since like she's a huge part of his story. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't know if this was discussed at all. From everything I've heard, she knew like, found out I mean it, if you find that she didn't know about GMA like she finds out like she's not in it the documentary and they have like a mutual friend who's in it and kind of confronts Colton a little bit but from my understanding and I don't know anything as a fact but from my <clears> understanding <throat> legally like they don't communicate so yeah. she has not seen this or like know anything and he doesn't really say too much about her because he legally cannot but mm-hmm. that doesn't stop it from coming up and I kind of yeah. think it's a little unfair if he's you know Again, it's 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 such a complicated issue because there is the point of he could reach certain people and it's an, it's an interesting story and there's people yeah. that would relate to, you know, growing up the same way he did and then feeling the same way he did and that's unfortunate, but it's also, mm-hmm. you know, can't be brushed aside that he was accused of placing a tracking device under someone's yeah. car. That's pretty serious stuff. So Very serious stuff. Whether it was right to give him this platform, that's, I guess, Netflix's decision and then if people yeah. watch it. But I think it also... There doesn't probably need to be any more. It, it's pretty con- like it was too long to begin with, in my opinion. Like this could have been a special, not a six episode. Yeah. Situation. Okay, so it is episodes. Yeah, that. Yes. And there's like random people in it. Like I saw um, Anyeka from our season was yes. like featured in it at some point. So I'm trying to figure out like what the through line is here. Was he just like visiting Texas and she was just having? Co- I don't know. She I don't kind understand. of serves as the representation of your season. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, I don't know how many people from your season that they reached out to beforehand. Yeah, that's an interesting, because I never heard that. And the people I still talk to didn't say that they were reached out to, but maybe they reached out to certain it's people. It's presented as like, she's one of the first people who tweeted, I guess, like a support. Ah. Um, but I also think maybe, you know, not to be shady, if she answered the call, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like he goes through each part of his life, his family, church, football, friends and then like the last one's kind of like bachelor and like public like after gma and she they just okay. like have drinks and talk and it's a little bizarre because again so i don't know why yeah. she could represent your season i don't know <laughs> i don't remember how far she got um but they have i think the- they had just like a funny relationship i don't think they were super close romantically but i, I guess i none of us really were if you think about it but yeah did you read hannah's book I, forgot that was your I haven't, but I am served so many TikTok videos of just anything <laughs> Bachelor Nation, whether I want to or not. So I've yes. heard all of the things mm-hmm. <laughs> or yeah, some of the was, rumors. But. That was a fun one. That was a fun read. I, I was waiting for that book to come out so badly because I like read it like a month before. And when they the, the, the stuff about Peter came out early, I was like, oh, thank God I can like let this out. Um, yeah. Yeah, she mentioned in the book, all she really said about Colton's season was that like she felt like something was off. Um, mm-hmm. And that it was like hard to watch herself be like aired as the crazy person, but then all of a sudden she was a bachelorette. So that was interesting. Yeah. But it, I, would, I would assume all of you had similar experiences of maybe feeling like Colton wasn't the one. I know you quit the show, so it's like, you know, <laughs> the same thing. Yeah, I mean, it, you feel for him though, because he must have been really struggling. Like, and it's for us on that other side of it, during the process, we just felt like, for me, I just felt like he didn't like me and I couldn't really connect with him or get to that deeper level. but now seeing it like all these years later there was he was struggling so much and like holding back on so much do you really feel for him yeah. and then it's like hard because you like felt like you wanted to really get to know this person you're giving yourself your all to this experience but then he's really held held back from it so i don't know I, again like good came from it and he's like finally experiencing his truth and you know maybe it had to take that situation to get him there but yeah it, it just, he just felt very reserved during the whole process yeah. But I thought he just didn't like me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody felt that way, so you certainly weren't yeah. wrong. 